Right, so here's a quick little look at the beauty dish. This is all built up. Well, I've actually left little bits of it in parts so that you can see it. So the flash, the 860 version 3 flash is, you'll hear me mention it in the second part, is installed. It is on full power. Um, you won't have to because the, the well, I'm not going to spoil it, but the power output is half decent. So you could put it on quarter power, drop your aperture a bit, and the recycle time will be phenomenal and shoot away like that. But for the purpose of this video, we want to know how good the beauty dish performs and what power we can get out of it from a little flash because it is 100 centimeters, which is a meter big. So it's a pretty big modifier. So there's the flash. This is the softbox built up. It's quite easy. You lay it on the floor and you pull all these out and it clicks, but it is stiffer than you think. We have these two little metal rods which just screw on and then we put this second part on here which is the little metal dome which does all the magic. Just give that a gentle nip up there, don't nip them too tight. And then there's this piece of diffusion material here. So in this video we are going to look at the different power outputs. Obviously, we're going to leave it built up like it is now. You'll never take this piece of diffusion panel off. Uh, well, you could do, I suppose. Maybe we could do that. Um, we're going to leave this one on and we will put this big one on and we will also put this grid on also uh, in this video. And we'll have a look at a meter away what power we can get out of this lovely Beauty dish from Godox, Len Carter, um, I think it was £100 was it, it was 89 or 99 and we'll have a look at the light we can get out of it and see just how good it performs. Have I got the bag here? Where's the bag? There it is, sorry about that, I haven't actually put it away. This is the bag it comes in as well. Um, we will fold it down later and put it back up again in a separate video but there is a video on YouTube by Len Carter showing you how to build it anyway. Um, you basically just let go of all the clips at the back, press the buttons, it falls down and you put it back away. But it does take you two or three minutes to rebuild it back up so I highly recommend if you were a wedding photographer that you'd get to your job and you'd build it up straight away. You don't want to build it up well they were waiting to do the group shots or something like that because they'd be just sat there bored. It does take a little bit of building up. Anyway, I'll just quickly show you this from this view. So when you watch me do it on the video, you'll know what I'm doing because you won't see it because it won't be facing you. So this is the second diffusion panel. That's the second diffusion panel. Uh, I will tell you that you hardly, when you put this on, it doesn't really make no difference to light. I think you get about F11, F13 at a meter away, with or without it. It's really strange, because you'd think with it being another diffusion panel that you'd lose loads of light. You do though, you'll see in the video, that when you put this sucker on, you lose. I'll just show you that again. It just velcros on. I'm not gonna leave it on for, well go on, yeah, you can have a quick look at it. I'm not going to spend ages on it. You'll see when you put this sucker on that it, you do lose a good stop, a good stop and a third of light, but it does stop the light from spilling on the background. So if you've got a problem with light from your softbox going on the background, that works absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, we'll see you in part two where we quickly try the beauty dish with this off like this. Well, we'll try it with it on first, then off. Then we also take that off and we have a look at the power output that we can get out of the flash. Thank you. Right, we're finally on the second part. So now we've got the beauty dish built up. We've got the, the diffusion panel on and the grid. So we'll take a light, a light meter reading and we'll see what those settings are. And we'll take a shot at that and we'll take a look. And you'll see that, well, you won't see, but um, that is actually an aperture of f8. 
So I'll go to F8, 200 of a second, ISO 100. I told my light meter that I wanted ISO 100 and 200 of a second to stay within my sync speed. My sync speed's actually 250th of a second, but I've just left 200, which is perfectly fine. Maybe outside I would go 250th, but we're going to set this camera to F8 now and we'll lock our focus in. I'm going to stand right here. I'm trying to get the same frame every time. And if we take a look at that, that looks stunning. The shadow is a little bit intense, but that's fine. Um, because we've not got it, we're just using this as a key light. The contribution of flash in this shot is 100%, so there's no ambient light. So what we'll do now is we'll pull this off. I, I will tell you ahead of time that pulling that grid off does considerably give you more light. Oh, I have to get my glasses. It does give you considerably more light and obviously you'll get more light spilling on the background though. So we'll just press the light meter and bang, we'll see, we've now got, hang on. We've got F11. Um, I did say, didn't I, that it's about a meter away is the light. Um, so we'll now go for, so we've got one full stop, more light by taking the grid off. So we're now at F11, we'll take another shot. And straight away, you'll see the light spill on the background. Um, but it still looks fantastic. So we'll now take the last bit of diffusion material off, which is the big white bit on the front. So it's actually the diffusion panel. Remember when I showed you the softbox at the beginning and we do get the little piece of diffusion material in the middle, that's still on, we, you'd never remove that. So let's see if we get any more power by taking that diffusion panel off. We got F13. So we have got a, uh, a third of a stock more by taking that off. So we'll just go to F13. So we've now got a meter away. The purpose of, actually of this video is to quickly show you the beauty dish, yes. But it's to talk about the settings of the beauty dish. So when we use it on the field, we know whether we're going to be able to use it, yes or no, by taking an ambient reading and going, that's F22, that's F16, this is useless, we're not going to be able to use it. Maybe if we brought it really close and photoshopped it out, that'd be an option. But we know that we can get between F11 and F13 at a metre away, so we know that, that's great. So if we went outside in the garden, now in the shade, and we had at 200 of a second, F9, we know at a metre away we can use this uh, lovely softbox, well, beauty dish. So we'll now take another shot at F13. And again, that looks fantastic. So that's the test now done. We know the power output. So that's the test now complete. We know the power of the beauty dish. We know it's between F11 and F13 at a metre away. Yes, I could move it two metres away, but I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video. But we, we now know that we can use it between F11 and 13. I am using, I don't know if I said, because I've done this video numerous times, because I made a couple of mistakes. My microphone was too high and it would clip in the audio. I'm using the 860 version 3 Godox Flash. I have got a couple of them. I've got a Godox V1 and I've got an AD200 Pro on the way tomorrow. It's getting sent tomorrow, it'll be a Tuesday. So we'll do this again with the AD200 Pro inside and we'll see what we'll get from that. But I'm assuming we'll easily get F22 more, maybe F30 uh, with an AD200 Pro at a metre away, which means you can pretty much use that in the um, nice sunny day, you know, for the puffy blue clouds, F16, you've got a lovely blue sky, but your subject is dark, bang, get your light firing at F16, you flash, and then you can just balance that light, absolutely perfect. We will, in a separate video, I'm going to take it outside, and we're going to try it outside, just to show that it works, um, but in this video, we'll just have a quick look at it. The build quality is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It feels really nice. It's a bit tricky to put up. It's not as quick as the quick, uh, quick up softbox, which I showed you in another video. 
with the AD200, there it is, that's a 60 centimetre soft box. This gives considerably a softer light. Um, but anyway, I'll leave this video here and we'll catch you in the next. Thanks for watching, please comment and subscribe and please click that bell icon to get instant notifications when I upload a video. Thank you.